More now on the big news about Apple shares, which began the day trading at $92 each after the company completed a seven-for-one stock split, making more shares available and making them more affordable to more investors. And those investors seemingly liked what they saw, sending Apple shares up 2% today. Apple, still the most valuable company on the planet, is just the latest public company to split its stock. But how do companies and shareholders fare after stocks are split? And what about Apple? If you woke up this morning and didn't know about the Apple stock split, you might have wondered whether every iPhone, iPad, and MacBook had stopped working. Of course, that's not what happened. If you owned one share of Apple stock last Friday, it was worth more than $645. Today, Apple opened at $92. But your one share was now divided into seven. The value of your investment hadn't changed, not one bit but the number of shares you own did. One famous study back in the 1990s found that stocks rise almost 8% in the year after a split and more than 12% in three years. There are no guarantees, of course, and most investment pros will tell you a split is no reason to buy a stock, perhaps especially for a company like Apple. The stock split, I think, maybe in and of itself may not drive the stock higher, but new product news, and there's a lot of it coming from Apple, I think will drive the stock higher. A new operating system announced just last week. An iPhone with a bigger screen possibly on the way. Talk of a more capable Apple TV. It's all out there. Plus a big stock buyback that just got $30 billion bigger. Apple's had mixed results with three previous splits, all two for one, a far cry from today's very rare seven for one split Apple hopes will broaden its shareholder base. In 1987, the Apple split preceded a 2% rise in share price the following year. After a 2000 split, the share price dropped 57%. And after the 2005 split, shares jumped 60%. So is Apple a trailblazer? Will more high-priced companies split this year? S&P's Howard Silverblatt names the usual suspects. Price line is over 1,000. Uh, Chipotle's 500. Uh, Amazon is in the three, three range, AutoZone over 400, Google just did a split, but they're still over 500. There's a lot of companies that are considered traditionally higher priced that are, are trading out there. Well, one company whose shares didn't make Silverblatt's potential split list is Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. His company's A shares sell for about $192,000 apiece, and Buffett seems to like it that way, believing the high price creates a stable shareholder base. He did, however, once split his limited rights B shares 50 for 1 to create more currency for the acquisition of Burlington Northern.